A Group 2 for juvenile speedsters kicks off day three of Royal Ascot. In the Norfolk Stakes, Clive Cox's Comcheck won going away on debut at Newmarket's Guineas meeting and looked a shade unlucky not to follow up in Sandow's listed national stakes. And now a Comcheck near as two as with Adam Kirby has come through to take it up. Joins a fly the nest. Bar M boy behind those. Konchek is hanging very badly over towards the far side. Fly the nest is in second position and Konchek has drifted right to the far side. Got home by a length and a half. Tim Easterby's unbeaten vintage brute sprung something of a surprise when a 25 to 1 winner of a Thirsk Maiden by seven lengths and proved that was no fluke when winning Sandown's listed national stakes next time out. Sabre being closed down now by Vintage Brew, attacking hard, wedding date blown by wind, and Konchek is thrusting down the outside under Kirby. Vintage Brew from Konchek, Vintage Brew won the national. Richard Hannon Jr. won this four years ago, whilst his father was victorious three times. This year sees four Heritage Stables contenders lining up, the best of which could be the once raced The Paddocks, who was very professional on debut in winning a Newbury Maiden from a next time out winner. Red jacket is the paddocks, the far side. Nearest to us, the purple jacket is Blonde Warrior. This pair have a great battle. They hit the line, the paddocks and Blonde Warrior. Richard Spencer has his juveniles in great form and Rumble in the Jungle, a game winner of a Salisbury novice on debut last month, bids to emulate Raja Singh by becoming a Royal Ascot winner at two. This trio in line as they race towards the line. Rumble in the Jungle in the centre has just held Expensive breeze-up purchase, Charming Kid, made no mistake first time up at York Stante meeting in the same maiden, won by subsequent Norfolk Stakes runner-up Santry 12 months ago. But it's Charming Kid and Paul Hannigan in front. Charming Kid, a treble for the Richard Fahey team, a double for Paul. Key victory was far from disgraced when a three and three-quarter length third, having raced keenly in the French Derby and bids to emulate stable companion Hawk Bill, who also landed the listed new market stakes en route to winning this race. Inside the closing stages now, Key Victory gets through to put his head narrowly in front, but Old Persian is going to make him fight, but Key Victory asserts wins by a length. The John Gosden trained cross Batten's progress was halted when well beaten in the Dante, but before that, he had seemed to be going places with a hat-trick of wins culminating in Epsom's Blue Ribbon trial. Cross Batten shows in front, continues to be out in front to my Lord and Master in second position. Frankie Dottori on Cross Batten in front, coming to challenge him, my Lord and Master. It'll be very close between them. From a very good Shadwell family that includes 1,000 Guineas heroine Ganati, the unexposed Wadil Safa impressively reversed two-year-old form with Herculean when landing a Newmarket novice event last month. Wadil Safa and Jim Crowley have the lead over Herculean and Narinkol. They meet the rising ground a half furlong to go. Wadil Safa is beginning to pull away. It's three on the day for Jim Crowley. Wadil Safa wins. Wild Illusion's second in the Oaks is the best form on offer, and she was not beaten that far when fourth in the 1,000 Guineas. However, she has to shoulder a three-pound Group 1 penalty for her win in last season's pre-Marcel Boussac. Sun Maiden is an impeccably bred half-sister to the mighty Midday, and was hugely impressive in breaking her duck at the second time of asking when running away with a Salisbury novice race by 12 lengths. It's now only a question of how far Sun Maiden will win by. She is already seven or eight lengths, and boy, she's better than these. Sun Maiden, Pat Dobbs, head up towards the line, a long, long way clear. Magic Wand struggled on unsuitably soft going in the Oaks and can be expected to recapture the form of her Cheshire Oak success, now returning to a decent surface. And Ryan Moore has simply made the opposition disappear and Magic Wand gives Aidan O'Brien a sick Cheshire Oaks. Hopes were high for Lingfield Oaks trial score of perfect clarity at Epsom and she was sent off second best in the betting. However, she reportedly failed to act on the soft going and certainly can be given another chance. Aidan O'Brien also saddles the last time out Fairy House maiden scorer Athena, a three-part sister to the Irish Oaks heroine Bracelet. She was a good second to the highly regarded Sea of Class a couple of starts back.
Ten towards the last foul on now the yellow jacket of Sea of Class James Doyle has swept through to the lead here and goes on quickly by two lengths and is surging clear. Sea of Class and James Doyle have won cosily. Athena's home in second. In the big race, the Gold Cup. Last year's runner-up Order of St George bids to recapture the Gold Cup title he won back in 2016 and he has since won here again at Group 2 level back in October. Order of St George stays on late with Stradivarius up to the line towards the door. He's now being collared by Order of St George and Order of St George pulls it out of the fire! Stradivarius was a good third to Order of St George in that race and last year's Queen's Vase winner has since added the Goodwood and Yorkshire Cup to his burgeoning CV. Shaken up by the Tory to make sure Stradivarius hits all the right notes and wins the Mansion Bet Yorkshire Cup impressively. Vazirabad has long been coveted by the Ascot management. And finally, the Aga Khan's brilliant but enigmatic stayer gets the chance to prove himself at the highest level but on these shores. Jessica Harrington's fantastic season on the level can get a whole lot better if Sagaro stakes hero Torsador can get his head in front here and reverse October course form with Order of St George. The stage open here for Torsador. No Irish trained horse has ever won the Cigarro stakes, but Torsador could be called the winner a long, long way out. Torsador and Colmer Donahue, very impressive here for Jessica Harrington's yard. Torsador wins the Cigarro stakes handsomely. Crack on, crack on is unbeaten this season and won nicely in the end from an unpromising position in a valuable Class 2 handicap at Haydock last time out. He has the look of a progressive horse. Crack on, crack on and Crown Thorpe and then Old Shore Bridge are snapping away in behind completion. Now being joined by Crack on, crack on, who's going to get up here in the closing stages. Crack on, crack on has won the Silver Bowl. Hugo Palmer's son of Uncle Mo, Corrosive, landed the hat-trick in game fashion over course and distance six weeks ago and did at one stage hold an entry in the Group 1 St James's Palace Stakes. And it's now Corrosive down the centre, Al Jellaby on the far side, Bombastic, Baka Karat is running on two with Corazon Espinado, but Corrosive is just going to win it and Corrosive does enough. John Goldston has won this on four occasions and has two with good chances this year. Il Primo Sole is back in grade following a five and a quarter length defeat in the French Derby, prior to which he was a ready winner of a Kempton novice, while Style Hunter slammed a field of ten novices by six lengths at Lingfield, prior to which he was second to subsequent dual scorer Bergenay at Newmarket. Style Hunter is still getting there in the green, then Crystal King and Probeni taking off far side, Bergenet still in front, a late thrust Style Hunter, Bergenet has held on. Ostino frustratingly finished runner-up on his first four career starts, although two of those defeats came at the hands of odds-on Gosden-trained pattern performers, and Simon Christford's son of New Approach made no mistake in a Class 4 new market handicap last month. But well clear here is Ostilio, a furlong to go, four lengths in front, and he's never going to be seriously challenged here. Ostilio is going to make every yard of the running. Mushtak going into second with Exhort, fighting that out. Ostilio wins and wins handsomely. Charlie Appleby won this in 2015 and also supplied the runner-up 12 months ago. 